Welcome to another amazing five minutes auto pairing Dynamo 2380 GM. Let's see how this goes. Maybe the Vienna game is a good choice. Bit of a surprise weapon. Okay. Play here. D3. Or Queen E2. I'll try the D3 line, inviting the check. D4 move. Oh. Okay, I think he's interested in F6 later, but he's given me D3 for the bishop. I think D4 is the usual move there uh, to sort of restrict this bishop. If he wants to, you know, play C4, I think that releases tension. So I'm not too, I'm not too unhappy with this start position. I got to say, at the moment. Queen B6, Bishop E3. There isn't a tactic just yet. C D C D. Okay, I'll get up my king out of here. If he's going to play for G5, yeah, then that gives me, I think, some chances. Is he really going to close up with C4? Yes, he is. Okay, very interesting position now. Um, I think I want to play for bishop a3 actually, like a French defence idea in the Winoir. I can play for bishop a3, and the knight can go back to g1. Uh, the centre is quite solid, more solid than usual. So bishop a3. Queen b1 to b5 or something. Get get rid of this to sort of emphasize the dark squares. These are gripping on the dark squares anyway at the moment. These pawns here, f6, d6, c5. Exchange that guy off. I suppose g4, this bishop g5 maybe. To so just get the h file if I take. Mind you, bishop a3 to d6. Okay, so let's go with um, defensive. On g1, uh, but it might be useful there defensively. I think on d2, I'm not really sure. Okay. I don't think there's any double attack on the uh, loose rook at the moment. Queen e7 is not such a big deal at the moment. Uh, he could take care just to inconvenience the rook. Um. Where is that rook going? What if I play this? A5? Is that going to cause a problem for him? Now he's hitting the rook. And queen a1? I don't know, queen a1. Queen h4, then g3, and there's h3. Bishop h3, knight h3, the knight's handy. Uh, or just g3 immediately. There's no queen h3. So I'll protect the rook. And a6 might be useful, but uh, let's see. Um, right, he's finally getting to that head of the pawn chain. An exchange off here, or a6, maybe a6 first, b6. That's bishop d1. No, I thought bishop d1 to a. <laughs> Unfortunately, my c2 pawn is out of the way, so it's doing something, it's not doing much. Bishop d1 is not doing much. Um, yeah, he's got an infiltration point on f2. Let's throw this in because this might be useful later unless it's a weakness. That's queen b2, f takes. Queen b5, he takes in and it's trouble for his king. Queen b5, knight b8. Mm. All right, I don't want to lose too much time over this. Um, I think I have to do something with the e5 pawn. Now do I exchange off rooks? Uh, queen f1. Hope for the best. This rook's really misplaced. I don't really want his rook coming to f2. 
so maybe uh, if, maybe I should take now this rook is awkward queen e1 rook f8 there's queen g3 there I think queen e1 because actually e6 might be useful as well uh, to target I think rook a1 queen f2 then bishop c4 there takes takes I'm on e6 for example so rook a1 uh, or just queen f2 here a pin uh, for the moment it's a bit hopeless actually that pin queen e6 so I don't know bishop d1 it looks strange bishop d1 um, queen g3 doesn't do anything uh, let's not lose on time I think just for a moment it's it's pretty passive actually maybe he's justified things this is looking a bit of a menace now um, okay I've got to move let's move 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 um, I think the rook needs to be brought back h h4 stopped at the moment uh, maybe right here there's queen f1 oh trouble indeed um, give up the sea pawn uh, it's panic and he's got a big clock advantage uh, this is not good nope I think it's fallen to bits actually I'm afraid this is far too passive far too passive um, knight e2 a minute down on the clock as well but uh, you can win material now by force but let's just try this for knight e2 so knight f5 there's knight g3 coming up knight g3 oh there's knight takes f1 oh knight, knight e3 is a bit of a killer move here and there's king g1 maybe king g1 Oh, so I'm actually threatening to trap the rook with king g1 knight e3 king g1 it's going to end up winning a pawn minimum I don't know if this pawn's at all useful over here when he wins all this material um, so knight e3 king g1 you can just take off rooks take care knight g3 bishop g6 then what h4 no I think he's just winning that ending maybe knight f4 is an improvement there's no bishop g6 so okay Anyway, he's coming up to a minute, so at least there's that achievement for this game to get him to use a bit of time. Yeah, so knight e3, king g1. Takes, takes, knight f4. I'm on d5 and h5. Hmm, bishop e4, knight h5. And knight f6 later. On g4. Why is he not moving here? Is he disconnected or something? Thinking about knight e3. Okay, I have to do this. Protecting f1. Knight takes us here, so he takes. You know, I get this line knight f4. Bishop e4, knight h5. The king, I think, is going to play this and b5 and munch that pawn. So, how would I get my pawns quickly going? Knight f6. Taking here, that will give me king e3 and pass d pawn. Check. Is he gonna, he's going to take here, yeah? so knight f4, so bishop e4, knight h5, he's down to 20 seconds, I don't know why he's uh, playing slowly here, so knight f6, I think I have to threaten to, um, oh have I just blundered Check. because of this, I have to get my king over here because b4 is going to get a pass pawn, Check. I can blockade here and protect a6, that's a, that's a turn up for the books, <laughs> he's resigned, I never expected that, I did not expect that. I I am shocked. But here I'm actually on the dark square. My dark square is unbelievable. This is a very bad ending. What is he doing with this bishop here? King f2 to g3. I don't know. He's started consuming gallons of time. That was just totally unexpected. I thought I was just going to get rolled over there. Blimey. So who is this guy? Alexei Kuzmin Kuzmin what's that flag I can't get a hover over wow 
let's have a look. Was it as bad as I thought? Maybe King G1 was okay. So he's got a small advantage here. Maybe large advantage now. So what was the suggestion instead of Bishop A3? A5. And then what? If F6? Okay, it's about equal apparently. Okay, maybe this was misplacement, but I wanted to weaken the dark squares. Okay, so black's just clearly better. I expect it to be rolled over here after bishop e4. What a strange thing. It didn't take on c2 or anything. Knight e3, we're approaching just one minus one. Check. Blunder? H4 instead. So here I'm almost I'm equal here now. Has he got time? Bishop g2 and then b4, that would be clever because it gets the king over here. Check. So if here, b4, I think it's just queening that pawn. So he missed that. b4 immediately, I can just take apparently. And king e2, yeah, because I'm going to get into that pawn. Check. This helped the cause, I thought. I just Check. d5 here, which is good for white, but. Yeah, it likes knight d5 now. Check. I played knight b4. So it is an advantage here to white. If he plays on king f2, I mean, it looks. Oh, king e3. What's the idea of giving up the g2 pawn? I don't understand why king g3. That's okay as well. That looks okay. Then I can create a pass pawn over here. I wonder why the engine would be suggesting king e3 here. Huh? Oh, hang on, knight c6. Hmm, unnecessary complication, is it? Or oh, it's okay as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.